Hi, in this tutorial we will see how to format our response using JSON property and JSON include. So here I am going to create a Spring Startup project. In this project I will just create a web project. So I have included Spring Web and Spring DevTools and Actuator. So DevTools to load things at runtime and Actuator to check the health. These are good to have properties. So here I am going to create a class in which I will create a controller just to create a sample API and I will show you how I will format my response according to my need. So I have created a REST controller using the annotation at the REST controller. I am going to create a GET API. So I used GET mapping and my URL is employees only. So I am going to return an employee object. So I am going to create an employee class. So in this employee class I am going to provide age of the employee. So int age and name of the employee. So string name and I'm going to go to the source and create get and setters. I'll select both for age and name and I will also create a two string property in which I'll just print the employee object. So my employee object is ready and here I'll create an employee object and using set property of the employee I'll set the age of the employee as 25 and let the name of the employee be Sumit only. And I'll simply return this object, return EMP. I'll start this project using Spring Starter Project. So run as Spring Boot application. So my application is starting and has started. So URL is employees and I'll click on just let me clear the console and click on send. So as you can see, age and name both are coming. Now I want to format the age and name according to my need. I don't want the end user to see age and name coming here. So I'll change the using annotation at the rate JSON property. And in the JSON property, I'll provide the name of this property. So I'll name it as employee name and employee age according to my need. So as you can see, I provide employee name using JSON property. And also in the next field, I'll provide employee age. So as I have changed the name of the properties, these both the properties will be coming instead of name and age, directly they will coming according to the employee, employee name and employee age. So now, since these are the formatted properties which I have returned in the employee object, so now I want one of the data to not to come in the response. So I will click on send. As you can see, zero is coming. Since it is a primitive data type, so I'll change it to an object. So I provide the integer here. Now when I provide it as an integer instead of int, so it will be coming as null. So I will just clear the console and click on send. So as you can see, null is coming. But I don't want the end user to see all the null properties. So it's a kind of waste because if I'm sending a null property, so end user is also doing some computation. So whatever they are computing, they're not getting the result. So I don't want the null properties to be sent. So just to show you that all the things are coming, I am printing the employee object here and click on send. So as you can see, name and age both are coming, but age is coming as null, as you can see in the result. But I don't want the null properties to be sent, so I'll use here JSON include. So it will only include the values according to my need which I am sending here. So in the JSON include, I'll provide you that ignore the values which are coming as null. So it will only include not null properties. So in the, I'll use JSON include along with the property of not null. So I provide both at both the places. Now since both, whatever the property which is coming as null, it will not include in the response and only the properties with the values only will be coming. As you can see, only age is coming. But age which, uh, which I have defined here is not the age, it's a name. So I'll just change it to name. And in the place of name, I'll change it to age. It's just a type error and clear the console and hit the URL. Now you can see only the name is coming. If I change a name to null, then as you can see age is coming as null, but name is coming. Now I'm going to change the age and set the name as null only. So save and when I'll hit, only age will be coming. 
so whatever the null properties which are there they are not coming only the values which are there only they are only coming so since i have commented both the things so no property are left all the things are null so no data is coming so in this way using json property and json include we can format our responses according to our need and end user will get the response according to the customized response which we are sending to the end user thank you all for watching the video